Hattie McDaniel famously said, I would rather play a maid than be a maid. She was born in 1893 in Wichita, Kansas, and her father was actually a freed slave. She started her career as a singer and dancer in vaudeville, and it's reported that she was the first black woman in radio. If you notice, uh, she has a star for uh, radio. She also has another star on Vine Street for the cinema. She is a lady of many firsts. There will be quite a few more. Like I said, Hattie McDaniel made a career out of playing maids in the cinema in the 1930s. She was in such films as Golden West, Judge Priest, Alice Adams with Fred McMurray and Katherine Hepburn. She started getting a little sassy with Katherine Hepburn and even more sassy in Mad Miss Manton with Barbara Stanwyck and Henry Fonda, shown here throwing a bucket of champagne in his face. She did appear in a non-maid role, I think, in the film Showboat. Uh, she sang a duet opposite Paul Robeson. But in 1939, Hattie McDaniel got her most famous role as Mammy in the always controversial film Gone with the Wind. I mean, the NAACP had a problem with it right from the get-go when they were filming it. Now, she had a great time on set with her buddy Clark Gable. They were great friends. He pulled a practical joke on her in the toasting scene when they all had brandy. They were using iced tea but he actually slipped some brandy into her snifter. Now, when the film debuted in Atlanta, Georgia, they wouldn't allow black people, of course, at the premiere, and Clark Gable told the studio he would not show up, but his pal Hattie said that he must attend uh, the opening night of that film. She was up for Best Supporting Actress the first time that it ever happened, and she won Best Supporting Actress. Of course, again, this was the first time that anybody had ever been in that hotel ballroom as a guest, a black person, period. Her and her agent had to sit at a table off to the side, but man, bedecked in gardenias, you gotta see her Oscar acceptance speech. It is moving to this day. It would be 50 years later till um, another black actress won an Oscar, and that would be Whoopi Goldberg for the film Ghost. Ms. McDaniel worked with such luminaries as Vivian Lee, Shirley Temple, Jean Harlow, and Betty Davis. So the movie roles quit coming in, so Ms. McDaniel went back to her roots of radio, and in the year 1947, starred in a CBS show, Beulah. Again, it was the first radio show to star a black woman. Yet another first, Ms. McDaniel! ABC took the success of that CBS radio show and made a TV show out of it in the early 50s, I think 1950 to be exact, starring Ethel Waters, not Hattie McDaniel. But Ethel Waters left that television show because she didn't care for the racial stereotypes and Hattie McDaniels came in for the second season. Unfortunately, she couldn't finish the run of that show because she had breast cancer. Hattie McDaniel gave her Oscar to Howard University so it would always be on display. But there was a race riot there in the, in the 1960s, and that Oscar has gone missing since that day. When Monique accepted her Best Supporting Actress Oscar for the film Precious, I can't say Precious, but I'm gonna keep going. Uh, she was bedecked in gardenias like Hattie McDaniel, and she thanked her for, quote, enduring all that she had to, so I didn't have to. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood. Back to her roots of radio and in 1947. <laughs>